finish and you see the bottom hole pressure is around 5000 which is very close with what we have in previous calculation from nodal analysis so let's say i'm going to copy and let's just check the nodal analysis okay click on done so i input in the bottom hole pressure from wellhead pressure i input the total gor of 7500 which is very close and also gas rate 37 which is very close solutional pressure you see we have 5080 in the previous calculation but now in nodal analysis we have 5100 which is very close so you can see now we have connection inside all the features of the prosper right so nodal analysis confirming the result from bottom of pressure from wellhead pressure and vice versa so again let's click cancel and let's see now our bottom up from wellhead pressure feature already checked you see the symbol here red color it means we already have something inside this feature so let's go back and then yeah this is our first calculation you can see there if i change it to be even more close even closer to the nodal analysis calculation i should input 7432 and this one should be like this and then we just calculate right now we are getting even closer to what we have in nodal analysis so i'm going to check whether the time is important so i click on copy and then let's just paste and change it to 10 calculate you see the same thing so in this pseudo steady state calculation the days is not very important and if i change it even to 1000 let's see right but if i change for example the tubing correlation it will be important let's change it to backs and drill instead so you remember this value you see they are different but it's quite close with what we have using the petroleum experts five right and Duns and Rose also different. Okay, now let's see if we go back to Petroleum Expert 5. Okay, by the way, in practice, in day-to-day -day job, in order to calculate or in order to determine the best tubing correlation to use, you need to actually perform the flowing pressure matching okay if you have traverse data pressure traverse data from for example bottom hole flowing pressure or flowing gradient survey you get the gradient the the measurement for the fluid gradient and you need to import it into the prosper and perform matching to find the best tubing correlations to use okay but now let's say I just change it to two, three, four, and let's vary the vary the flow rate, for example, starting from low and then twenty thirty. And then let's say it's just for exercise. Okay. it's like this let's say total gor and water gas ratio 
do not change, calculate. Okay, so you can see, and let's say we click on plot, linear, and y-axis gas rate. Click on done. So you see we have that. Okay, the gas rate increases. Well head or manifold pressure, like this. Bottom hole flowing pressure, like that. Okay. So you see here, at the highest gas flow rate, you can see that the bottom hole pressure increases, whereas the wellhead pressure decreases. So it's interesting, all right? And you need to actually go into the detail, into the formula, into the correlation, into the mathematics, actually to, to find why this happens. So if you click on done, you see here, at 30 mmSCF per day, the bottom hole pressure increases. Whereas at 20, the bottom hole pressure as is at the lowest. So maybe it is because the fluid dynamics, maybe because remember we are dealing with condensate. We are not to discuss that here in this particular video, but we actually, the, the main focus of this video is to show you how easy it is to calculate the bottom hole pressure given you already have the wellhead pressure and other parameters like gas rate, well temperature, GOR, and water gas ratio. All right, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next Engman Prosper videos. Thank you.